First pitch misses for ball one. He walked to start game one, struck out to start game two yesterday. He walks to start game three here today. So a leadoff man on base for Belmont. First home run of the year. He hits this one the opposite way through the four hole. Shacklett hits the bag at third and will stop there. Brotherwood sends it back in. Runners at the corners now with one down. Shallow left field. Kevin Graham makes the catch coming forward, trying to score. The throw to the plate is cut off by Elko and then gets off of his glove, and that allows the runner to move up. Sacrifice fly for Logan Jarvis, and Belmont scores first. Kind of manufactured a run here in the first inning. Yeah, walk, sack, bunt, move over on a base hit, then sack, fly. I don't think they had any shot at getting in the plate. I think Tim Elko's, Tim Elko's trying to cut that ball off and hold it. And two. This ball lifted down the right field line, and that's a fair ball, and that's going to score another run. Good piece of heat hitting by Brody Heaton all the way into the right field corner. Now he's going to try for three. The throw is not in time. Run scoring base hit for Brody Heaton, and Belmont is out in front, two zip. Yeah, stays inside on that break ball. It was not where Diamond wanted it. Watch the hands come in, inside out. Ball's just fair down the right field line. And then you called it. Hayden Leatherwood had a little bit of an issue. That's a tough corner down there. Those walls get together tight, gets past him. And Heaton came almost to a stop at second base. They were Belmont coaches. And Mason Landers at the plate. And Landers pops it foul. Aiden Dunhurst tosses the mask and makes the catch just in front of the Ole Miss dugout on the first base side. Couple of runs, couple of hits. Good start for Belmont on this Sunday. And a triple for Brody Heaton. First pitch swinging. Hit pretty well to left field. Justin Bench, Ole Miss is on the board. Oh, that's an answer. Justin Bench got ahead in the count. And hammered that one to left field. Looked like a fastball out over the plate. That was a no doubter. So a leadoff home run for Ole Miss in the bottom of the first, second home run of the year for Justin Bench. He knew it off the bat. When you get a fastball waist high right down the middle, you want to hit it hard. He did it, got the right launch angle, and that leads to run number one for Ole Miss. This ball lifted to right field. Pretty well hit by Tim Elko. Shacklett to the track, to the wall. It is gone, and Ole Miss has tied the game at two. Elko at home with three straight games going into yesterday's game. Broke that streak yesterday and started another one today. The impressive part about Elko is the opposite field pop. Fastball out over the plate. Just gets the barrel through it. And that's just some kind of good swing by Tim Elko. When you, hit, when you get the ball out the other way, you got a chance to hit a lot of home runs. Because pull side, knock, I'm not going to get it because I'm not going to guess. Ground ball left side, fielded by Capabianco, throws over. Alfonso Soriano with 54 as number two all time. Rebels get the 2-2. Two -two. Check swing, one hopper out to second, fielded by Garrett Wood, has to wait on Baker to get over. That happens, and Belmont goes one, two, three in the top of the Kevin Graham says, shift however you want to. I'll just shift it out of the yard. Solo shot for Kevin Graham, third home run of the day for Ole Miss, and the Rebels lead it three to two. You can't shift it that one, can you? There's, there's no, no way to put a defender back there. And Andy Bean working up in the zone. And I mean, Ole Miss taking some really good swings. Obviously, three of the first six hitters have left the yard. And this one was an absolute no doubter. Hang and break a ball up. And it was hammered. Think he knew it, Richard? Think he knew it based on that reaction. Ball's leaving the yard early today. Second home run in as many days for Kevin Graham. Ground ball, right side. Should be easy for Rando, throws over. And a pretty good bounce back there for Andy Bean after the solo home run. Kevin. 
Three-quarter swing, strike three. Second strikeout of the game for Derek Diamond. His first one, two, three. Well, second one, two, three inning. Also did it in the second. Can be efficient when you throw that slider with two strikes down and away. Easy inning. Pitch runs up and in to Tim Elko. Hit him on the arm, and so he will head to first base to start the fourth inning. And team in the country. They were 20 and 3. There's a swing and a miss. Van Cleve goes down swinging. Elko is obviously a no pitch. Graham lunges out, hits it into shallow center field. Barron's fighting the sky. Elko tags. Throw comes toward the plate. Cut off middle of the infield. Sacrifice fi a fly for Kevin Graham. That works out nicely for Ole Miss. Picks up his 14th RBI of the year. And Ole Miss leads 4-2. to Didn't hit it real deep, and Barron's was struggling with the sun some. You see, he kind of lost his momentum. Tim Elko runs good for a big guy. No chance right there, and Rebels add to their lead. Tagged up and went to third. None of that mattered, though, because the ball allowed him to go to third regardless. This ball hit. To first, Heaton's able to knock it down, picks it up, and he'll just tag Leatherwood as he goes by. And some sunglasses go flying in the mix, and that is how the inning comes to an end. This ball lined the opposite way. Good swing there by Jack Rando. On the... This pitch... Hits the batter, and so Belmont has first and second with nobody out here in the top of the fifth. Pitch to Barron's outside. Ball four, bases loaded. Brando goes to third. Shacklett to second. And John Barron's jogs down to. This pitch gets away from Dunhurst, and a run will come home to score. Rando. Comes from third to home on the wild pitch. Shacklett and Barron's move up, and it's now a one-run game, four to three. Fastball down. Hey, Dunhurst just can't keep it in front. Big run for Belmont. Now a great opportunity. Second and third one. And Ole Miss just said, we're not going to throw any more pitches to him. We're going to put him on first base. Ground ball to third. Elko going to go to third and step on the bag himself. And Austin Miller. That was a nice job. Had the one wild pitch that allowed a run to score. Ole Miss will hold its lead headed to the bottom of the fifth. Fly ball to center field. Gonzalez sends one out to Barron's, and Ole Miss goes one, two, three in the bottom of the fifth inning. One run game in Oxford. Chopper, right side. Second baseman Rando over to Heaton. And the inning ends well for Belmont. That one runs just up and in for ball four. So not able to dig himself all the way out of the hole. Shacklett goes. And the pitch gets to the backstop. And Shacklett makes a big turn at second. Decides to slam on the brakes. Does not want to test the arm. Kreider this time does not show bunt. Hits it on the ground to Gonzalez at short. Goes to second for one. Not in time for the double play. Full count pitch. He lifts it to right field. Leatherwood makes the catch. He'll send it toward home. Throw is on the first base side. It's a sacrifice fly for Logan Jarvis, and we are tied at four. This ball lifted to shallow left. That'll fall in in front of Kevin Graham. The 0-1. This ball hit one hopper to short, flip to second. Wood covering there. Fielder's choice. But a new ball game as Belmont gets a sacrifice fly out of low. Kyle Brennan misses outside. Ball four. It's a five-pitch walk to Garrett Wood in the nine hole to start the bottom of the seven. The 3-0. And it misses outside. And Dunhurst reaches on a four-pitch walk. The 1-1. And Elko hits a fly ball to right. Shacklett on the run to the track, to the wall, and gone for Tim Elko. A three-run jack.
Now we said pitch him carefully, right? Not quite carefully enough. And I mean, is Tim Elko on fire? Fifth home run this week. Maybe change up out over the plate. Something off speed. Stays back and he's so strong. <laughs> opposite field home run after opposite field home run. He backspun that one right out of the yard. Ole Miss with a three run home run here in the bottom of the seventh inning. This ball gets away, runs inside, and hits Carson Shacklett in the back of the leg. Shacklett on base. 2 1 from Barons, and he lines it into center field for a base hit. And Belmont now has a chance with two runners on and nobody out. You said it just a second ago. You had to have two base runners to have a chance. They do it with the first two. It's open, the full count pitch. And it's lifted into left field, and that falls in front of Graham for a base hit. One run comes around to score. That's Shacklett. Barron stops at third. It's now a two run game with the tying run at first and the go ahead run at the plate in Mason Landers. Really good swing by Heaton and break a ball. It's a hanger. On a 3 2 count. Heaton stays with it. Drives it to left field and it's expected. Ole Miss not worried about the runner that was at second. Just kind of lobs that ball in. 1 2. And it hit him. And the bases are now loaded. That pitch got away from Broadway. Landers. Gets the free pass. This ball line past Elko, diving at third base, down into the left field corner. Barons comes home to score. Aaron comes around to score, throw to third, and an out at third base to end the inning. But a tie game, and we will go to the bottom of the ninth, tied at seven. Big base hit for Jack Capabianco. Two runs single the opposite way. Yeah, takes that fastball away, drives it down the line. You know the tying run's coming in. It's just all about whether they're going to take the lead. Belmont overruns third. Lowry just gets too far off, gets the tag. And... 2 1 pitch. This is lined over the second baseman's head out into right field, and Ole Miss has the winning run on base in the bottom of the ninth. At the plate. Tie game 7 7, and this one's not even close. And now Gonzalez heads down to first base. Walked. Grounds it right side. That slips through into the outfield. Justin Bench hits the bag at third. He'll come around. Here comes the throw. Not in time. And Ole Miss walks it off on an RBI single from Hayden Dunhurst to finish off the sweep and improve to 10 and 2 on the year. Doubles get the W. Dunhurst with the shift on, rolled in between the first and second baseman. Out into right field, Justin Bench, we talked about a good runner at second base. He came around to score. And Ole Miss goes to 10 and two on the year with a walk-off RBI single from Hayden Dunhurst to finish off the sweep against Belmont.